Hello, everyone. This is Mrs. Maura Bacher, 10th grade academic advisor. I hope you all are having a wonderful week. I um, hope you are looking forward to the winter break. I know I am I'm looking forward to the time off, getting to a chance to spend more time with family and connect with friends virtually. Um, hopefully you'll get a chance to um, connect with friends and family as well. Um, at the same time, during your downtime, if you do have some overdue assignments, um, I wanna provide some tips and tricks here um, to help you locate those overdue assignments for quarter two and um, share a template with you on how to get caught up um, as you map out your, your catch-up schedule. And then also um, review again how to um, create that catch-up plan. Okay, so with that said, when you are trying to identify your overdue assignments, I know sometimes it can be a little confusing um, when it comes to finding everything. Uh, but the advisor team usually recommends that you go to your uh, specific course and click on that contents tab. And then once you're in the course, you go to um, course schedule within the contents tab. And then you can use the overdue tab as a starting point. As you can see there, there is a preliminary list there of your overdues, um, as well as end dates. Most of your overdues um, will have an end date of January the 22nd, which is the, the due date for um, computer graded assignments for quarter two. Um, and then also teacher graded assignments might have a due date of January the 8th, which is that first Friday um, when we get back um, from the break. Now, let me actually come back here. When you go to, again, to the contents tab of your course, go to course schedule, you have that overdue tab that we just talked about. Okay, to find overdues, you can also go to the full schedule tab, which I'm going to show you here on the next slide. This is probably actually the advisor team's favorite view that we recommend that you utilize. So when you're um, at this full schedule view of the OMHS, you run a scroll down until you get to November the 9th. That is the start of quarter two. And anything that you can turn, on, turn in in your classes still will be anything from November the 9th on down. So you wanna, from November the 9th, make sure that you have completion bars going all the way across in your courses. In addition, when you open up each lesson, looking through the lesson, make sure that you're taking good notes. You'll see these check, check marks appear as you go through the lessons. And so you wanna have check marks um, all the way through the course up until the current date. Okay, so once you have um, figured out what assignments you need to work on, you want to again find that unit where you left off and then you want to go to your grade book. Now as you can see in your grade book you'll have a list of a lot of different assignments. You want to find the, the corresponding unit to where you left off from that full schedule view. So if in that English class they were on unit four then they would go you would go to the grade book and look at unit four assignments in the grade book to see what still needs to get completed. Okay, now in addition to, in addition to um, your units that are listed here, some teachers have also given you some additional markers. So you might see Q1 or Q2 at the beginning of each assignment, which of course stand for quarter one and quarter two. And you can still turn in any assignment with a Q2 marker in the front of it. So please utilize those notes. Teachers also in the feedback portion of the grade book, sometimes leave helpful notes, like telling you when you can turn an assignment in till. Um, so again, you wanna see if it says that you have until, um, again, those dates of um, January the 8th or January 22nd to turn in your work. Okay, I am gonna share now a view of a blank catch-up template that you might utilize as you're getting caught up in your work. 
All right, so here it just says catch, catch up schedule. Um, you can write in your week that you're in and that you wanna complete work in. Um, you also wanna write in the name of the course that you're working in. Might be helpful to just identify a couple courses at a time. And then also think about the days of the week that you wanna work on, okay? Um, you might decide, for instance, that you may not work on Friday, which is Christmas day, um, or other days that you wanna take off um, over the holiday. But just figure out the days of the work that you do wanna work um, on, and then enter assignments, particular assignments on those days. Also ask that you write your grade at the beginning of the week. And then your grade at the end of the week. That'll help you track your progress as you complete your work. Here's a completed catch up plan that you might look at. All right, so you can see here the week is filled in with the courses. This particular student is just going to focus on English and chemistry. And then you can see here as um, the student has started working in their English classes, they've highlighted. Um, the assignments as they complete them with the same um, color as the course, okay? So you wanna highlight in the same color as um, the name of the course. And then as the student will work in the chemistry course, they would do the same thing. They would highlight as they complete those particular assignments. So they might use an orange highlight there. And now this template has, again, assignments on each day from Monday through Friday. But you, again, you might decide just to work on Monday or Tuesday or Monday through Wednesday. Um, whatever you feel um, works with your family schedule because remember the break is, it's supposed to be a downtime where you're able to enjoy additional time with friends and family. All right, let's go back and take a look again at our PowerPoint. I wanna do a quick recap here of what we just talked about. Okay, so again, you wanna look at that full schedule view within your course, and you wanna scroll down to quarter two, okay? And you're gonna find the assignments um, from November the 9th to the present day and what unit you left off with. And then you're gonna you go to that unit within your grade book. Okay, and then once you have found um, those units in the grade book, you want to, uh, again, identify those overdue assignments and write them on your schedule, those schedule template here. Again, writing them in on the days you want to work. So you want to figure out how many total assignments that you have and then divide them up by the days of the week that you want to work on. Okay, work on them on. So um, if you know, if you have uh, 20 assignments and you know you're wanting to work on them on um, four days then you would have do five assignments a day okay and now some of your assignments may not be um, something that you can access directly from the OMHS so in that case and if you're not sure if you can still turn those assignments in please reach out to your teachers and they can provide guidance on that When it comes to reaching out to your teachers, as you know, you guys can always email your teachers. Um, but before you do send that direct email, also just make, make sure you've taken the time to look at your announcements board, your class discussion board, and then also um, connect with your teachers during office hours to get the needed help. Okay, um, just also wanna note that once you are you know, completing your template, again, you wanna um, put that beginning of um, the week grade right there and track your progress um, in your courses, highlight your assignments in the same color as the, the name of the course on your template. And then a special holiday treat for your advisors would be to email us your completed schedule templates. We would love to see um, what you all have accomplished over the break and the progress you are making. We still do have a few, a few days before the holiday break. So um, doing that time,
please reach out to your advisor, reach out to your teachers, let us know what we can do to guide you um, over the break. If you wanna utilize that time again to get caught up in your classes, bring your grades up before the end of the semester. Um, I know this has been a hard year for a lot of us, um, but I want you to remember that again, tough times don't last, tough people do. You guys are strong, you will persevere. Um, take that time with your family over the break, enjoy good food, music, activities. Um, look out for some of our socialization activities. We'd love to see you at um, the virtual recess sessions and the talent shows. Um, and I just wanna say happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, um, Happy New Year, and we will see you guys in 2021. Bye now.